For today's lesson, we'll revisit making polite requests in Japanese using verbs in the TEF form, followed by itadakemasen ka, kuremasen ka, and kurenai. Previously, we've learned that the TEF form of a verb can be combined with the word kudasai to make polite requests of others. This method of request can be a little insistent and even verge on being slightly rude, according to some native speakers I've discussed this with. Let's say you're talking to your friend and they're not listening. You could say, sort of insistently, Kite kudasai, please listen. Swatte kudasai, please sit down, and so on. So it can sound a little bit pushy. How to say it more politely? Well, we can use the te form of a verb, plus itadakemasen ka, kuremasen ka, or kurenai, instead. Itadakeru is the potential form of the verb itadaku, which is to receive something from somebody higher up. So verbs using this te itadakemasen ka can be used to make a polite request. This is more appropriate than kudasai when you request a favor from a non-peer or from a stranger. A little bit of decorum, a little bit of politeness is called for. This is the best and most polite way to make that polite request in Japanese. Let's look at an example. Chotto tetsudatte itadakemasen ka? Would you lend me a hand? Would you give me some assistance? Said politely. You can also use a verb in its te form plus kuremasen ka? To make a polite request. When you make a request in this format, uh, note that it's roughly equal in its degree of politeness to kudasai, so it's neither very polite nor rude, it's kind of right in the middle there. Uh, this would be good to use, say, for example, if you went and lived with a, a host family in Japan. You may want to, while you're uh, getting used to each other and uh, before you've settled in and become part of the family, to use a more slightly more polite form like this. Let's look at an example of a te kuremasen ka sentence. Chotto matte kuremasen ka? Chotto matte kuremasen ka? Could you wait for a second? And finally, you can use te kurenai when you want to ask for a favor in a very casual way. So this is the least formal. Uh, this example here. Sore totte kurenai? Sore totte kurenai? Could you grab that for me? Uh, you can also use, you may recall back from lesson six when we looked at the te form initially, you can also just use the te form of a verb as is, as a kind of a friendly uh, way of asking for a favor. So this is equivalent for our purposes to te kurenai. Sore o totte, sore o totte, grab that for me, will you? There are a lot of different ways of asking for requests politely. What follows here is a, well, non-comprehensive list, but uh, these are ranked from uh, most to least polite. Let's take a look at uh, what's possible here when you need to ask somebody for something. First, we have a uh, verb in its te form, itadakemasen ka, or we should note here you can also use the affirmative, te itadakemasu ka, can you do for me, uh, versus the te itadakemasen ka, which is more like won't you do for me or couldn't you do for me. Uh, below that, in terms of politeness, we have... Te kudasai masenka or te kudasai maska. Again, affirmative is possible here as well. Um, asking somebody, could couldn't you please do that for me? Uh, slightly less formal. We can use the uh, the potential form of morau, which is moraeru, moraeru. Uh, verb in its te form, morai masenka or te morai maska. Could you do this thing for me? Below that, in terms of politeness, we have te kuremasenka. Or te kuremasu ka? Could you do in a more friendly and less formal way? And down here, in the short version here, te moraenai or te moraeru. Can you do that for me? Notice that these are the informal versions of these verbs, and so these would only be used with somebody with whom you're on a first name basis with or, or friends with. And finally, at the bottom rung of our politeness ladder, we have te kurenai or te kureru. All right, let's move on to some practice. 
All right, for this exercise, I'll show you a uh, uh, illustration of someone and their name or relationship to you and the favor that uh, you want to ask them. So you'll be asking the following people for favors, and as you do this, keep in mind the social status of each person. This will, of course, indicate or should uh, prescribe the level of politeness that you'll use. As always, I'll ask you to pause the video. Uh, try to think while the video is paused for yourself how you would phrase that as a uh, sentence in Japanese, a review of you for a vocabulary and for this grammar, and then unpause the video when you want to see if you got the answer right. Here we go. So for this first one, you're asking your friend Noto kasu to lend you a notebook. So how would you say to your friend, hey, can you lend me that notebook? Again, keep in mind he's your friend, so you can make it as uh, informal as you'd like. Pause the video here. Noto kashite kurenai? Noto kashite kurenai? Asking the same person again. We'll do this. Uh, it'll be the same person you'll ask uh, a few favors of each time. The favor this time. Hon o kaisu. Hon o kaisu. Can you return my book, please? Pause the video here. Hon o kaisite kurenai? Hon o kaisite kurenai? Tomodachi o shoukai suru. Could you introduce your friend to me or some friends to me? Pause the video here. Tomodachi o shoukai shite kurenai? Tomodachi o shoukai shite kurenai? Konban denwa suru. Can you call me tonight to your friend? Pause the video here. All right, for our next round of requests, we will be asking host family no okaasan, your the mother uh, in your host family in Japan, and we'll be asking her rokuji ni okosu, so to wake you at six. So how would you say to your host mother, again, a little more polite this time, how would you say to her, can you please wake me up at six? Pause the video here. Rokuji ni okoshite kuremasen ka? Rokuji ni okoshite kuremasen ka? Eki ni mukae ni kuru. Could you please come pick me up at the station? Pause the video here. Eki ni mukae ni kite kuremasen ka? Could you make me a box lunch? Pause the video here. お弁当を作ってくれませんか? So, asking your host mother, could you help me with this homework? Pause the video here. Shukudai o tetsudatte kuremasen ka? Shukudai o tetsudatte kuremasen ka? For this next round, you'll be asking your teacher for some favors. Here, you'd want to be uh, a good deal more polite. Keep that in mind when you phrase these. All right, what are you asking of your teacher? Let's see. 文法を説明する To explain some grammar. So could you explain this grammar to me? Pause the video here. 文法を説明していただけませんか? 文法を説明していただけませんか? 推薦状を書く To write a letter of recommendation. Pause the video here. 推薦状を書いていただけませんか? 推薦状を書いていただけませんか? 英語に訳す So translate into English. Pause the video here. 
英語に訳していただけませんか英語に訳していただけませんか And finally, 作文を直す。To correct an essay, to make corrections to an essay. Pause the video here. 作文を直していただけませんか作文を直していただけませんか And that wraps up our look at making polite requests. 勉強頑張ってね。